Hey guys, enter the stars and another amazing discovery revealed to us by the Holy Spirit because God wants the world to know who He is and that He is real and there is a one true God. And when I did this, I was simply floored. We already know about the 40 weeks of gestation of the human child as stated here. It is general knowledge that the human child um, gestates in the womb for 40 weeks from the first day of the woman's last menstrual period to the date of birth is 40 weeks. And we compared that to the 40 days and 40 nights that it rained during the flood. We compared the flood to basically the gestation being in the amniotic fluid and the flood waters being like that. We then compared that to the Israelites that were in the wilderness for 40 years as they passed through the Red Sea. And we compared that Red Sea to basically going again through the vitreous humor of the eye and also the, um, the womb, the wilderness being born into a new land. And then we also compared that to Jesus' walk of 40 days in the wilderness. And we thought that was amazing because that seemed to also parallel uh, the 40 millimeters that a fetus is, a canal is fully developed, which is like that narrow gate going through the Red Sea as well as the ark going through the 40 days and 40 nights of the flood and passing through the Red Sea, the narrow gate, the staff of Moses and the ark. And after we overlaid all those synchronicities and they go far deeper because we can compare the child in the womb to the eye and they are almost identical analogies of one another. The iris being the cervix, opening and closing, allowing light in and the, the image coming in upside down and the child being in the womb upside down. So when I began to dig a little bit deeper into these numbers and these analogies, all with this 40, this number 40 being overlaid upon one another, some other things began to open up, some other truths. So 40 weeks is 280 days. And when I looked at the calendar, I found two mirror dates that were separated by 280 days. In other words, this is the length of gestation of the human child, 280 days. And when I began to realize that that is nine months and six days, there's a 69. But more importantly, the two dates, the only two dates in the calendar that are mirror dates of one another, that are have a separation of 280 days, in other words, there are 280 days between these two dates, are February 12th and November 18th. Now stay with me on this because February 12th is the eve of Lupercalia and we've talked a lot about Lupercalia. We also talked about a lot about the 28 years of the World Trade Center that it stayed open from 1973 to 2001 and there's a reason for all this. The 280 days is the 28 day cycle of the woman when she is not pregnant it is also the number of generations between David and Jesus. 28 generations between David and Jesus. But this goes deeper because these two dates are mirror dates of one another. February 12th and 1118. Let me show you how that works. November 18th is the 322nd day of the year with 43 remaining. And February 12th is the opposite of that. It's the reflective date. It's the 43rd day of the year with 322 remaining. And this 322 number is the one that I wanted you to realize and see. 322 is skull and bones. Now the enemy will always seek to replace what is good that God does with something evil. Obviously this Gregorian calendar was made by the enemy. 
to mock the Most High, to hide truths. But when you look at these two reflective dates, November 18th and February 12th, truth emerges. Why? Because if you take 88 days and you subtract that from 322, you get, let's do the math here, 88 days this is Christmas Day and now you know how all this fits back into Jesus Christ why do we choose 88 11 8 11 times 8 is 88 11 18 now we also know that Christ was crucified on March 29th, the 88th day of the year. So you see, this 322 encodes the date of Christ's crucifixion in one full circle mirror. And their new Gregorian calendar actually encodes the Lupercalia, which is the evil version it's the enemies what that that's his holiday that he looks up to and he glorifies so this is pretty amazing and uh, if you guys didn't follow that rewind it take some notes and the truth will also become clear to you as you look at this mirror date the only two dates that seem to hold the key of the 40 weeks of gestation of the human child in the modern calendar. Take care and be safe, you guys.